Welcome back, Giant fans. We're now on box number 97. Box no number 97 contains ceramic helmets. These are not helmets that a football player would wear. These are more decorative helmets. They are basically uh, coin banks and bottle openers. Let's take a look at this box. This box is a little bit bigger than the size of my hand. And you can read the label on the back, on the box. It's a helmet bank. And here's the side of the box. The other side. And the bottom. And there's the, the box that this helmet was in. This looks like a helmet that was given away. You could put coins in the top. And you can see on the bottom, there's this little rubber piece you can pull out to get your coins out. There's the sticker from a, that matches the box. And you can see on the inside it says First National Bank of Allentown. So my guess is this is probably a premium. And it looks like, if you can see a date on there. It's hard to read. I'm not sure what the date is. Or even if that is a date. But it says First National Bank from Allentown. So this was a giveaway premium item. And that's the one that came in the box. Nice coin bank. And we have five of these in the back row that all match. This is the first one that came in the box. <clears throat> Here's the second one. Good news and bad news on the second one. The good news is this was signed by Y.A. Tittle, number 14 in the Hall of Famer in 1971. And it's also labeled on the bottom from a, a bank. The bad news is, is this one's broken. We put a sock in there so someone, nobody would cut their hands, but you can see the back is cracked. So unfortunately, this one is cracked, but if it was displayed, it could be a nice display item. If displayed from that angle, you can see the signature and the side of the helmet it looks okay. But again, we stuffed a stock in there just because it is cracked. And then you can see how it's cracked on the back. <clears throat> That's the second one. Here's the third one. Same bank from the National Bank of Allentown. Here's the fourth one. This one is labeled the Union County Trust Company. Guessing from Union County, New Jersey, where there are lots of giant fans. This is the old logo on this helmet. The place where the coins go on the top. And the sticker and rubber piece are still intact on the bottom. And here's the fifth one. Also from Allentown, First National Bank. Okay, so we have five of these hand-sized coin banks, or ceramic, very delicate, as you can see, because one of them is broken. So that's the first row, or the back row, that has five. The next row we're going to work on is these five small helmets. These are actually bottle openers. Here's the first one. You can see on the bottom, It's not actually labeled on this one. I've seen it labeled elsewhere, but that's like a bottle opener. It's very heavy. It's like a ceramic material. It's an old New York Giant helmet. Very solid and heavy. And I believe it's made for a bottle opener. That's the first one. Again, there's five of these. And here's the second one here. And this one actually you can see. Labeled from New York City. And it actually says on it, bottle opener. So that's the second bottle opener. Now this is interesting here, look at this one. This one on the bottom says Groundbreaking New Jersey Sports and Exhibition Authority November 30th, 1972 Groundbreaking. So from 1972 this one is not a uh, 
coin. There's no coin slot on top of this one. This is not, well, none of them are. This is a bottle opener. Okay, on the bottom, we still we see that logo again. Loyal Products, New York City, labeled bottle opener. What a great piece that one is. Bottle opener from 1972. Probably the similar year that these other ones are from. Here's the fourth one here. Now this one is missing the bottom and it's not labeled from 72. Let's see. On this one that's labeled, it feels like they're raised, but maybe someone could have taken that off, but it feels like they're raised letters. So this one, another bottle opener at the bottom missing, and here's the last one here. Here, this one also has the groundbreaking on it. Groundbreaking, New Jersey Sports and Exhibition Authority, November 30th, 1972. The groundbreaking in New Jersey. And there's the bottom. A great piece, huh? Great piece to have on the on the New York Giant bar. A bottle opener from 1972. Okay, and there's five of those. Plus the five coin banks in the back. Okay, the next row, we're going to like take a closer look at these eight items. Okay, let's take a look at this one. This one was really well wrapped up. Nice clean bottom, nice clean side, and it's a bank. This is very delicate. So be careful not to break this one. Get an idea of the size of it. You know, it's a I don't know, size of a large grapefruit, small melon, and it's um a bank. You put coins on the top, and there's screws, so you'd be able to screw it out and get the coins out of the bottom. And there's actually four similar. This one may have been retouched re up. It looks so nice. There's the second one here. Okay. Here's the third. Now this one front of the label on it. It says $36 for Football Helmet Bank, New York, 1966. So this tag apparently was purchased, I don't know when it was purchased, could have been purchased 30 years ago for $36. But this one we left a tag on, but give some information that it's 1966. And that would be for this set of four. Let's take a closer look at this one. This is also, you can see in the bottom, Loyal Gift Product Football Helmet Bank. Okay, third one. And this is the fourth one, apparently also from 1966. This one's missing the bottom. Okay, so we got four of those banks. And here's a four more banks. This one's a newer style. This one here, it looks like it's missing the, uh, the little white guard on the front and it's got a newer logo. It is a bank. It's the coin slot on top. Plastic piece on the bottom. It's a newer one. Actually here's the date on the back of this. 1985 by NFL Properties. Made in Italy. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one here. This one says New York Giants on the front. It's got the white piece. Coin slot on top. Giants on both sides. Nope. Yeah. The Giants on that side. And on that side. Plastic on the bottom. Coin on the top. There's the back of that one. Nineteen eighty-five. Okay. And let's take a look at the next one here. Did 
This looks very similar. Also from 85. Giants on both sides. Coin slot on top. Plastic piece on the bottom. New York Giants on the front. This one's a little bit different. It doesn't have the New York Giants on the bottom. Like this one has Giants on the bottom. And that one has Giants on the bottom. This one doesn't. It has the word Giants over there. Same side it looks like. Same side. The back's different. It's got the coin slot on top. This one's put out by a different company. It's much newer. It's at 1990. Okay, so we've got helmets here. We got four in the front row, four in the next row is eight. Then we've got these bottle, five of the bottle openers, and five of the other banks. So that's five, ten, fourteen, eighteen helmets. Eighteen helmets, and we're going to add four more pieces to make a twenty-two to this box. This is a um. A metal wall hanging. It would, it's just a profile of a football player. This is another ceramic bank. It's got a giant helmet on one side, giant's name on the other side, and coin slot, rubber piece on the bottom for the coins. And we've got this football helmet here. This one, it's more like a cup holder, a candle holder, maybe pencil holder, kind of maybe coffee mug, giants on the side, but it's a ceramic helmet, decorative. From nineteen ninety. And the last one here, this is a, a helmet, and it's a commemorative small ceramic helmet from Super Bowl 25 in 1991. Interesting, the copyright 1986 looks like sports con concepts. But it's from Super Bowl 1991 in Tampa. Okay, so we're going to add those four helmets to the 18 and mix it 22 items. There's four, and four is eight. And the next two rows is five each. So you got those ten, plus those four is eighteen. And those four pieces makes twenty-two items that will all be carefully packaged up and put back into box number ninety-seven.